Hi, this is Successful Geek, and in this video, you're going to learn some of the basics of Tabletop Simulator. So let's get started. This isn't going to be like one of my normal videos. This is going to be a little bit different because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just teach some friends that I'm going to be playing with tonight uh, how to how to use Tabletop Simulator while I'm using it. So I uh, just want to kind of show a table here. I've got Root loaded up as one of the games that you can play in Tabletop Simulator. Depending on the mod, it's going to be play. It's going to be very different, but there are some similarities between different things. The nice thing about this mod, over on the right side, you'll actually see some, see some text over here that actually tells you, okay, here's the steps you're going to do. You're going to choose your faction. So, for example, let's say, I, uh, and before I think you even come to this, decide where you're going to quote unquote sit on the table, like which location you want, and then eliminate the spaces that you don't want to take up. So, for example, let's say we wanted to leave space over here. I can close both of those, and now I've got these different uh, factions available. So let's say I'm playing a four player game. Uh, I can zoom in. Now there's a couple ways to zoom in. Uh, I'm using the mouse wheel to scroll in and scroll out right now. I hold right click to kind of rotate the camera and then W, A, S, and D to move around and stuff. So usually it takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Um, the other way you pr press the Z key and that zooms right into wherever your mouse is. Uh, and then if you press it again, it zooms out. So it's a real fast way to zoom in. The other thing you can do is hold M and that gives you kind of a, like a little telescope type thing uh, to look around with. And also if you're looking at something, you want to move your mouse over and you just want to look at just the card or something like that, I can hold the alt key and it just makes it zoomed in for that specific element that I'm hovering over. So for this uh, particular um, tabletop simulator mod, uh, you're supposed to choose your faction first. So I'm going to go ahead and let's say I'm going to sit here, choose my faction. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to play the Eerie Dynasty. Click on it. It gets rid of that and sets up everything that I need for the Eerie Dynasty. And now if this person comes and chooses their faction, choose faction and notice the Eerie Dynasty is not selectable. So let's say they wanted to play Marquis de Cat and you go around the table and you do that. So once the, once the factions are selected and you already know where you're going to sit, then you should also come up and change your color. And when you do that, you'll see that as the factions are selected, now there's a seat there for a color. So I'll click on that. And even though it was yellow, I'm blue for, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but uh, now whenever I pull stuff into my hand, uh, only I can see it. Uh, so let me go ahead and draw some cards. So let's see here, there's the deck. So I'll grab a couple cards, uh, a couple ways you can draw cards actually. So actually I'm going to put these back on here. Uh, first, let me, get a, let me go ahead and cover how to shuffle. All you do is if there's a deck, you press R and it shuffles it. So usually I'll hit it a couple times to make sure it's got a good shuffle. Uh, same thing with dice. If I hold my mouse over the dice, I press the R key and then I'll roll the dice. So, and you can also highlight multiple dice, uh, click and drag to highlight multiple things. And there we go. You hit roll. If you want to hit it a couple times in the air, so it's got a good, good spin. You can do that. Um, now when it comes to picking up cards, if I leave, if I leave clicked and I'll pick up the whole deck. So if I want to draw, multiple cards, then I just click and drag to move one off. So I've got one. And then if I want to pick up three cards at a time, I move, I'm still holding left click. I move my mouse over it and I'll right click. And that, now I have two cards and then one more time, three cards. And here we go. So let's go ahead and bring these over. Uh, another thing that you should probably adjust is up here, rotation degrees. So I like 90 degrees because now if I mouse over my little packet of cards here, if I press the E key, oops. Actually, I want to pick up the whole thing. So highlight the whole thing and then press the E key and that rotates at 90 degrees. When it's ever, it's a lower one. It only rotates a teeny little bit. So for example, 15, you can see it takes a while to go all the way around. But so in some games, I'm sure that's actually really helpful. Most of the time I found that 90 degrees is good for me. Okay. Now to pull stuff into my hand, I pick up my packet of cards, pull it down here. Uh, thought it was. No, I don't. <laughs> You can drop stuff off the table. So got to be careful about that. Um, there's a key to pull stuff into your, your hand. Just a second. Okay. So I got them in my hand. I, f I completely forgot how to draw. Let me go ahead and uh, pull these out of my hand real quick. It's actually, there we go. Pull them out of my hand and get this fixed. I'll make a little stack here. Um, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna flip the stack. So the way you wanna draw cards, I, I completely messed that up and I apologize for that. But the way you wanna draw cards is you right click over it and you hit draw. 
and you can draw and then draw. And now it pulls it into my hand. Now, the cool thing is, so these are my hand, I can see them face up, right? So, but they're, they're actually private in my hand. So if I go ahead and change to, I'm gonna change over to the Marquita Cat. Now notice that because I'm the Marquita Cat, I can't see these cards. So when the cards are in your hand, they're actually completely secret to you um, until like, even if I try to flip them, I can't peek, on, peek at his cards. So that's, that's actually a really nice thing about Tabletop Simulator. So you got that, you got the drawing and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and become the uh, Eerie team again. Go. So let's say I've picked it. Let's go ahead and pick a map. And there you can see on this type of top simulator, there's a bunch of different maps. I'll choose autumn map. And it'll take a second, but there we go. It's got the map set up now. And then wherever I need to be. So for example, I need to take my victory point, put that into the, the zero spot. And then for the warriors, uh, however many you need, Pick up a group of them, kind of let them drop. They're going to be all over the place, right? Then you can highlight over stuff and then pick them up and they'll all stand up and then you can shake them uh, like just ho while holding you shake it and it'll group things together. So that way it makes it a little bit easier to place. So it's right there and there we go. So now I've got some guys in that clearing. Uh, I can also take your ruse and drag it over and it kind of sets in place, stuff locks in place. It's really nice. But yeah, so a couple little things like that. Figured I'd make a quick video to show how that how that's done. Um, yeah, if you have, have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to cover some more stuff.